Article number 28, medical, medical marijuana. 27. 27, I'm sorry. I'm just so excited. Move that the town amend section 17-15 of the Hadley zoning bylaws by deleting it in its entirety. Is there a motion? Is there a second? Planning board, please. Planning board recommends this uh, article 50. First time we ever got some select board a recommendation on the planning board article. That's interesting. Anyway, section 17 is the transfer of development rights zoning bylaw and 17.15 specifically requires the planning board to conduct every two years a biannual review publication in a newspaper. Um, this article or this zoning bylaw was passed in 2000. It was the first one of its kind in the state and it was helped we uh, was created with the help of the Pioneer Valley Planning Commission and as part of that because it was basically in uncharted waters part of the bylaw was to review it every two years well 14 years later and 150 bucks every two years to publish this in the newspaper just to say yeah it's okay is getting ridiculous so we simply like to take that section out we do review it on other, as well as other bylaws when it's necessary Further discussion? Edwin Matusko, 116 Stock Street. So we're still going to have transfer development rights. We're not eliminating them, right? No, all you're taking out is a section of the bylaw that requires the public publicly notice that was reviewed every two years. Thank you. Further discussion? Robin Young, 22 Rocky Hill. Um, I'd just like to know, is there still going to be a mechanism for letting the public know what exactly you've done for the last two years? Are you going to publish it on the internet or something like that? Could you repeat the question? I didn't quite get it. Um, I just want to know whether you are, or what methods you have for letting us know what has previously been published in the newspaper. Um, well. Certain bylaws, if they're working, we don't do much with them, okay? This one works. We have done really nothing with this bylaw in 14 years, except let it be. And the planning board is on, the, on TV uh, the first and third Tuesday of every month. Our whole meeting is, is on the Channel 5. So for publicly watching what's going on, that's basically the notice. Okay. Any further discussion? Seeing none, I'd like to call for a vote. All those in favor of the motion, please signify by raising your cards. All those opposed, motion passes unanimously. Twenty-eight now, right? Article twenty-eight. The uh, select board recommendation is. Two in favor, no against, two abstentions. Can we move the article? Move the article. <laughs> move that the town amend the zoning bylaw of the code of the town of Hadley related to an establishment of a medical marijuana facilities as delineated in article 28 of the annual town meeting warrant May 1st, 2014 and incorporate by reference herein. Is there a motion? Is there a second? second? Motion and seconded. Planning board recommends this article 5-0. Um, I don't know how much you we want to get into this, but uh, obviously medical marijuana has been approved by the state in the vote and also in the, the uh, there's a code of CMR, whatever number it is, for this medical marijuana. Part of that CMR allows towns, if they want to, to adopt zoning rig reasonable zoning bylaws to regulate the placement of the growing facilities and the distribution facilities and that's basically what this bylaw does um, edwin matusko 116 stockbridge was this based on another model or is hadley breaking new ground again no no this is not well this was drawn together and then tuned to hadley with the help of the Pioneer Valley Planning Commission, we use them as a consultant, just like the Long Range Planning Group does. 
um, to help draft and amend bylaws. And this is not new ground. This is kind of a, I want to call it cookbook because it's so new in the state, but this is a bylaw that other towns are very similar, um, have adopted if they passed by the Attorney General. There's a few tweaks to every bylaw for the particular town, but in general, there's nothing in this that's very unique um, like, that we know of. Thank you. Any further discussion? Seeing none, I'd like to call for a vote. All those in favor of the motion, please signify by raising your card. All those opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Article 29, move that the town amend the zoning bylaw for the code of the town of Hadley relating to the common driveways as delineated in Article 29 of the annual town meeting warrant for May 1st, 2014 and incorporate by reference herein. Is there a motion? Second. Motion is seconded. Planning board recommends this article five to zero. And if you look at article 29, there are basically uh, 5.7.1, 5.7.5, and 5.7.6 that have a bolded section. Those are the only changes to the bylaw. The whole bylaw was put in there simply because if we tried to explain it without doing that, it would be much more complicated. And the common driveway was originally put in exactly for that reason, so that residences could have a common driveway to share two lots where it made sense. Well, we also found out that we, in doing that, we eliminated or omitted, is a better word, business and industrial lots and business and industrial lots often want to share a driveway far more than residences and so this simply allows re this simply amendment simply allows residents um, yeah res businesses and industry industries in industrial zones to share a common driveway further discussion Seeing none, I'd like to call for a vote. All those in favor, please signify by raising your cards. All those opposed, motion passes unanimously. Article 30. Move that the town amend zoning bylaw of the code of the town of Hadley related to the use of regulations as delineated in Article 30 of the annual town meeting warrant for May 1st, 2014 and incorporated by reference herein. Is there a motion? Is there a second? Motion and seconded. Planning board recommends this article five to zero. Last year at the annual town meeting, we basically redrew uh, the first few sections of the zoning bylaw and put them in a spreadsheet kind of a graph form because before it had been assembled in basically paragraph form and it didn't read well compared to towns that have adopted this format. And in doing so, Obviously, we found a whole bunch of errors. We begged you at last annual town meeting to pass it as it was with the problems that were in it because we weren't changing anything with a promise we would come back to this town meeting with corrections. And that's basically what we did. For example, one of the problems that we found out and the Attorney General pointed it out to us is that we didn't allow farm stands. They're permitted by state law. We specifically didn't allow them. In the business zones, we didn't allow a bar or a drinking establishment, but we did in a residential zone by special permit. So we had a lot of issues that we corrected in this thing. And the highlighted sections um, are the changes that we've made. It's, it still may not be perfect, but it's a whole lot better than we had last year. Any further discussion? No. We have rules here. Please. Shell Horowitz, 16 Barster Lane. Could you just tell me what low biz is? I recognize all the other classifications. The what? At low B. Limited. Uh, no, limited low. is li B. What's Lo local business. Local business. Thank you. That's the one you worked on, Shell. Yeah. Trick answer. Any further discussion? 
Hearing none, I'd like to call for a vote. All those in favor of the motion, please signify by raising your cards. All those opposed? Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our annual meeting of the 2014. I'd like to thank everybody that was involved in helping it put together, Richard Truswell, Mother's Club, and all the hard work that the Finance Committee and the Select Board put together to put this meeting together. I'm not done yet. You know, all you people are running. Dave Nixon, thanks for all your work. Joe Barr, thank you. Jessica Spank, thank you as well. I'd like a motion to adjourn. All those in favor? Thank you. I'm getting better. Huh?